So, I got some scrap walnut and I want some cheese. So, let's go make a cheese slicer. And of course, if you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any future videos. And it will also mean a lot to me as a small YouTuber. Thank you. I want some resin inlays in this piece. So I'm cutting the walnut at a 200 degrees angle and I'm going to fill that later. But since the shaft of the cheese slicer is coming pretty far into the walnut, I have to be sure to make the cuts down below the point of where the metal is going to be. Now, I don't want the resin to be the center of attention here, so I'm making the splits for the resin about a centimeter wide, and then I'm just packing the piece with some packing tape right there, so hopefully it will keep the resin where it belongs. And mixing up some resin, I'm using uh, some CCR faucet resin, which really isn't that fast setting compared to many other types of resin. It sets in about 24 hours, and with uh, smaller pores like this one, you have about an hour of work time before it starts to solidify. So, with some fine red pigment, we are ready to pour. So, as you can see, something has definitely happened here. The middle piece of the wood started uh, drifting and floating on top of the resin. So, as a result of that, a lot of resin seeped into the wood uh, as the tape loosened. And, well, this turned out to be quite a mess, <laughs> quite a fixture right there. It's yeah, it was the first thing that I could think of. Okay, so here we are after a day uh, and after the disaster almost hit, I managed to stabilize the middle part here so that it wouldn't float and ruin the whole project. So we can take it apart now and see how it looks. So, I don't know if you can see it that well on camera, but the resin turned out more orange than uh, red. And I don't know if it's a chemical reaction or if it's just bad pigment, that might be as well. But anyway, I'm gonna go with it and uh, continue on. And uh, well, yeah, now we just, uh, just have to wait for better weather and then we can go out to the sand again. The only reason for sanding it right now is uh, for a rough sanding, so that the uh, piece will get nice and square again. So that will make it easier to draw the pattern on later, so that we can fine sand it. So, my girlfriend was kind enough to make me this uh, drawing so that I have something to go after and use as an outline when I continue sanding. But first, I need to drill the hole for the cheese slicer to go down. And once again, I'm lucky enough to have a girlfriend to help me out with uh, drawing out the pattern. This would have been a much harder project without her help lining out the pattern, as it is so much easier to sand when you have something to help visualize.
Sanding really is the boring part of every wood project, but it is just as necessary for a good result in the end. I sand the entire piece up to about 400 grit to get a nice and smooth feel to the wood. And after that I treat the resin with a micro mesh, which has its own grit system that goes all the way up to 12,000 grit. And the micro mesh gives the resin a perfect shine. So even if it's a lot of work, the results are really worth it. We are done with the sanding and uh, I don't know how good you could see the result outside but at least then we can see it. You can see my finger clearly, no mist, not anything through the resin so I'm happy with that result. So now I'm gonna finish it with some uh, walnut oil and then I'm gonna leave it to soak and after a couple of hours I'm gonna come back, take off the excess, and do a second layer. And time will show how many layers I'm gonna do. I'm not sure at the moment, so I have to see what the result is from the first layer before I decide whether or not to. Or at least I'm gonna make at least two, but well, you'll know soon enough how many layers I'm gonna make. Now, three coats later, it is done, and as you can see, the results are pretty fine. So the only step left now is to glue on the cheese slicer. So to do this, I'm gonna use some 5 minute epoxy. It's a really good thing to use in my opinion, because it sticks very well, it's easy and fast drying, but you gotta make sure that you don't make a mess. So, it's completely done. And I have to say, I'm pretty satisfied. I really like the results. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Did you not? Uh, do you like the colors and the finish? Anyway, uh, I thank you for watching and if you liked the video, please comment below, please subscribe, that's the most important thing, you know, and leave a like. And here comes some beauty shots.